So growing affordability constraints persists for buyers. And that's one of the biggest thing that we saw when we went to Washington DC and the conversation, of course, everyone embraces the conversation around housing affordability and the need for exactly who we are and exactly what we do. Fannie Mae Home Purchase Sentiment Index decreased 1.2 points in September to 60.8, its seventh consecutive monthly decline amid growing affordability constraints. So you see what's happening here, guys. The home ownership index, the folks who are ending up with homes is declining. Uh, expectations that mortgage rates will move higher over the next 12 months and for the first time since May 2020, more respondents than not expect home prices to decline. In September, only 19% of consumers indicated that it's a good time to buy a home, down from 22% the prior month, while 59% indicated that it's a good time to sell. Year over year, the full index is down nearly 14%. I have to move things around, so pardon my, my fingers up there. Uh, the HPSI declined this month to its lowest level since October 2011. Isn't that interesting, said Doug Duncan, Fannie Mae, Senior VP and Chief Economist. Consumers' expectations that home prices will decrease matched a survey high with a higher percentage of consumers believing home prices will decrease rather than increase over the next year. A shift in survey sentiment that had previously only happened in 2011 and at the start of the pandemic in 2020. Moreover, 75% of consumers still think it's a bad time to buy a home with most citing high home prices and unfavorable economic and mortgage rate conditions as primary reasons. As long as supply is limited and affordability pressures continue to constrain potential home buyers via elevated home prices and mortgage rates, we expect home sales will remain sluggish. Yeah, baby. All right, you know, and I say, yeah, baby, because look guys, in our world, we don't have to navigate these things. This is not, a, this, none of this is bad news for us. None of this is bad news. It's all good news for us. Why? Because as they have increased, what do you realize they have doubled uh, it, the, the mortgage rate uh, in the last few months? So as a result, all the people that could have bought a home now still can buy a home, but it's a lot smaller home. It's a lot less home for the money. So we've seen people have to decline their expectations by 60 grand because of what they could have bought at the 3% level versus what they have to buy now at the 6% level. So you see, in, and I've said this from the very beginning and I've said it for years, everything is relative. Everything is relative. The one thing that's a constant is what the customer can afford. What they can afford is all driven by their job, right? Their income. But the other side of that coin is what can they buy? What can they afford to buy? Well, it's all driven by the same thing. How much can they afford? And so that's what drives down the prices.